Teenager dies of a caffeine overdose and it apparently wasn't from too many energy drinks. Nine on your side, Scott Wegener tells us what was found in his home was completely legal and surprisingly common. The death of a LaGrange High School student came as a shock. 18-year-old Logan Steiner died a week before his high school graduation from an overdose of caffeine. The Lorain County coroner found a lethal amount, over 70 micrograms per milliliter in his blood. Most energy drinks, he says, have only 3 to 15 micrograms of caffeine. But it appears energy drinks may not have been what killed him. Family members found bags of pure caffeine powder in their house the day he died. It's very easy to ingest lethal quantities uh, without realizing how far you're going. Jeffrey Craven is the medical director for the Christ Hospital Urgent Care on Red Bank Expressway. The risk factor goes up exponentially uh, when you're dealing with a powder. Um, it's, it's pure. It's possible to easily ingest a couple teaspoons full, and that may be two to three grams. You're into lethal dosing levels quite quickly. The temptation may be to use the powder for more than just staying awake. Do it, man! This video shows how one young man was challenged to snort the stuff through a straw. It also shows the immediate results. The dose makes the poison. The Cincinnati Drug and Poison Information Center's Robert Gett says even though fatal overdoses are extremely rare, parents who find a bag of pure caffeine with their children should address the issue. Try to have an adult conversation, explain your concerns, and then I wouldn't let them keep it. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Cincinnati.